is rocking. And from just looking at that, that's probably about two mil bent. Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. So, a bit of a different one today. We're going to be talking exhaust manifolds. Very interesting. Uh, now, this particular manifold that I've got in today is from a Land Rover TD5 and we do a lot of these manifolds and when I say we do a lot of them, what we do is we reface them. Now this manifold here, as you can see, this is a five cylinder engine. So we've got the five exhaust ports here, all go into one, which leads to a turbocharger. Because of the nature of the design here, so if you get more heat here than here, it tends to sort of just warp the manifold. Now. Firstly, you won't believe how much these bend. And secondly, you, you won't believe what they actually do when they do bend. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go and put this on a flat table and see how much it is bent. And just to sort of show you and give you a good idea. And, um, and then we're gonna set it up on our milling machine and we're gonna face it, face it flat again. Okay, so we've got a flat bed here. Uh, this is a perfectly flat bed and we've got the TD5 exhaust manifold on the bed here and we're just going to check how flat it actually isn't. <laughs> so you can see it's sitting down on the centre centre one but if you rock it you can see either end how much that is rocking and from just looking at that that's probably about two mil bent from one end, from the center to each end. Now that actually, I've had worse than that. Um, so what we do, I mean, they usually, to be honest with you, they usually, if they're that bad, what they tend to do is because of the, the heat, they, they sort of bend outwards on each end and they've known to either pull the studs out of the cylinder head so it rips the threads out or it does actually break the studs um, so a lot of people you'll find we have these in and we do a lot of these you'll find we have these in with slits down here and I think the idea of that is to relieve the stress and sort of stop it from bending but it doesn't seem to work we've had people that do that and they bend just as quickly and just as bad so the only way we could get around that is we've got to set this up in our milling machine. We sort of hold it here in the vise. We support it either end and sort of the only, we basically try and get it evenly flat as we can and then we just face it out. So I'm going to show you how we do that.
so sort of halfway interval I suppose as you can see that's 40 thou that I've put on 40 thou as you all may know is one millimeter and so far we're obviously just rough cutting it here it's still got a bit over this end and it's only just on the last five thou touched on this end so we're going to keep plugging away and by the looks of it I would have thought my estimate on the two mil is about right really so there we go all cleaned up and hopefully that should stay like that now uh, with some of the stress relieved and machined back to flat usually you find once you face them they do last a lot longer than they do originally for some reason um, I think it's because they've gone through those heat cycles and done their most of the the bending they're gonna do once you machine them flat they seem to be okay so um yeah as you can see there's a little bit of corrosion and clear but uh that's outside the gasket ceiling line so um yeah all good but no it's amazing how much these things bend and, and the force it must take to break one of those studs is um always amazes us really so we've just got a little update on the the graphics um, or livery for the for the kit car and now I've been speaking to my friend Sam at Tintin Express here in Barnstable uh, they do graphics and wraps and all sorts of stuff like that uh, they do they did the protection film on my Lamborghini do a fantastic job and they also wrap this car here um, so he's done me a couple of sort of designs on what to do with as far as graphics goes and putting our name on the car and I think we're going to go with this one now as you can see on that photo we sort of took a photo of the of the screen there so the colors aren't as they would be and the blue looks a bit purpley um, but yeah as you can see it's fairly subtle we just want we don't want to go too wild with the stickers because it does look we do like the sort of plain look of it really and um you know around the back we don't want to go too wild we um we were going to put the bearing engines on the on the back here but i don't think we are now we're just going to continue the stripe down this side here and then maybe on here in white we're going to put that bearing engines up there and um and then you'll have your your facebook and youtube logos on the back here and that will just about do us i think and we just need to get our name on so i think we like the picture says there i think we're going to put our name there we're going to introduce a little bit of blue to it and in real life i think this is the blue that we're going to go for so if i put that there it looks quite a lot lighter actually and so does the car on camera but we're gonna sort of do a blue stripe that sort of thickness maybe with a, a very thin black stripe next to it and that's going to go all the way through the car and down the back and then on the side we're going to have a thinner blue with the same thickness black stripe there and then maybe the name in the blue there and um, yeah I think that's going to look really good it's going to break up the orange and the black and um, yeah we'll see see what it's like so let me know let me know in the comments guys what you think about that and um, anything you suggest will be taken on board as normal. But yeah, really looking forward to getting that done now. Well, as always guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think, especially for the, the livery on the kit car there. Be interested to see what you say, especially about the blue. It's chucked a bit of, um, chucked a, bit of a wild one in there. Um, but yeah, till another video. Take care and see you again. Thanks, guys.